A little more than 15 years ago, a British researcher published a paper linking autism to a common vaccine. That research was later discredited. Still, the idea stuck with some parents who worry about a link between vaccines and autism. But as Erica Edwards reports, a new study could offer more reassurance to concerned parents. This MMR vaccine protects against highly contagious measles. It does not, according to yet another major study, trigger autism. There is no increased risk, period. A health consulting firm in Virginia called the Lewin Group studied more than 95,000 children. Some were already at risk for autism because they had older siblings with an autism spectrum disorder. Despite that increased risk, getting the MMR vaccine made no difference in the expected autism rate. Dr. Max Wisnitzer of Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital in Cleveland says the new research may comfort parents who still question the safety of vaccines. This kind of paper will contribute to providing useful information for these people to come to an appropriate decision about vaccinating their children. The MMR vaccine is more than 97 percent effective in preventing measles. Concerns over a link to autism, though, have led to a decline in vaccination rates. Most of the 147 people infected with measles during the recent outbreak that surfaced at a Disney theme park in California had not been vaccinated. Many experts say autism research should stop focusing on vaccines and target instead the real causes of autism. Erica Edwards, NBC News. And that new research is published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. A different story is shedding new light on the troubles teenagers with autism face as they transition into adulthood. Fewer than one in five lived independently after high school. The study also found that nearly a quarter of young adults with autism never see or talk to friends. More than one third never got a job. Researchers from Drexel University say the study should serve as a warning call to action to help young adults with autism.